Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Springfield Armory Hellcat RDP Rapid Defense Package. Now when the Hellcat first came out, it was a big hit amongst CCW carriers. I mean, they, they loved the 3 inch barrel, the magazine capacity, 11 and 13 rounds, tritium front dot, U-notch in the rear, very accurate, a reliable handgun. I use it as part of my carry rotation and I've always liked the Hellcat. But then in June of last year they came out with the Flat Dark Earth model. This does have an optic here. It's an OSP optical sight pistol with the 13 round mag inserted. But now they came out with the RDP which is definitely different. They're expanding the line and can you see what makes it a little different? They added a compensator on there. All right, Aluminum compensator, very lightweight but the idea here is to disperse the gases when shooting, decreasing the muzzle rise. We're going to check that out. But they also have a 3.8 inch barrel. So we've got 3 inch barrels and now a 3.8 inch barrel, which should be more accurate even more. I would guess, you know, the longer the barrel, the more accurate it is. At least that's what my shooting experience has taught me throughout the years. And there are... A total of four things that I was able to see with this gun that makes it a bit unique. Okay, so we've got the compensator here. 3.8 inch barrel. To take this off, it has a lever there. You just push that lever and twist it off just like that. It does come with a thread cap. All right, so if you don't want the compensator on there, you can put that thread cap on there. And then you're going with a 3.8 inch barrel. Very lightweight. Easy on, easy off. But the second thing that makes it a bit unique is that they're calling this a Gen 2 trigger. Now, I measured the trigger weight with these two in particular. That's the same. All are five and a half pounds on my scale. So I don't see a difference there. It's still a flat trigger. But what has changed is that that trigger bar safety is wider, making it more comfortable on the finger when shooting. It doesn't dig into your dig into your finger at all. All right, so here's what you're looking at with the reset. Okay, I, I don't notice the difference on the reset, but that Gen 2 trigger, it just it feels more comfortable. That's the best way to put it. Okay, and so I imagine with prolonged shooting, you would notice the difference compared to the blade that they have in this one. Okay, see. I, I don't have a problem with this trigger at all. Actually, I like it a lot. So there's no downside to a wider trigger bar safety. Another thing is that this one is, or has a manual safety. Well, let me go ahead and charge it first. It does have a manual safety right there. It is ambidextrous, all right? Good for lefties too. It is not on all the models. It, that is an option, okay? And you could sweep down you're good to go with the safety engaged it does lock the trigger does not lock the slide but it will lock up the trigger and there are you know a lot of people on this channel say i don't want anything to do with the thumb safety but there are a lot of people that do right? so you know whether you want one or not it's available with this model and this will work with the frames and in the slide so you know i could always throw this frame onto this RDP package and I would not have the thumb safety you know not everybody could do that but it is available but one of the things that I find very exciting is this optic this is a hex wasp you see that wasp on there it's a micro red micro red dot 3.5 MOA nice clear glass and it Co-witnesses cool with that tritium front dot, and I tell you, I, right out of the case, I'm pretty sure that this thing is already co-witnessed. You know, every time, I've been playing a, around quite a bit with it, and I pointed something, then I looked through the sights, which you can access the sights through the glass, which is a nice touch. I really like that. But it, I'm, I'm pretty sure out of the package, it, it's good to go. We'll see. I'm going to get it to the range very shortly. But it is an aluminum frame and a nice clear dot and I, I like that now spring this is a springfield product so i don't know if springfield actually produces it or if somebody else does and they brand it under spring i'm not sure about that but it is nice and the dot is always on 
right? So you don't see an on off button or lever or anything like that. Long battery life and a, for, from what I can tell, it's a pretty nice, a nice clear picture and I guess longevity is yet to be seen, but it is, it's pretty sharp. So we've got the new optic, the optional thumb safety, the 3.8 inch barrel and the compensator. Everything else is pretty much the same. It's, you know, they did not rebrand the entire gun. They have this RDP package and a lot of people are taking interest in it. You know, a lot, like the feedback that I've gotten, I posted a pic on Instagram yesterday and a lot of people said, wow, that is pretty cool. And I've also read other comments that are out there and a lot of people are taking interest in this. They like the idea of a longer barrel with the option of the compensator or just carrying it with a thread cap and they definitely are interested in that now this is uh going for 2.99 which is a pretty good deal they also have a larger one called the dragonfly and that that's actually a little bit less expensive like like 250 and i find that to be a phenomenal deal but everything so far is checking out to be really cool i can't wait to get this to the range i'm going to shortly Actually, I think I'm going Friday. I'm going to take this to the range and check it out. And I'm very interested to see how well this compensator works. Okay, I'm going to do a side-by-side, -side, perhaps some slow motion with this uh, Hellcat here and check out the differences. But I am expecting big things because I know the Hellcat quite well. And I think this is going to be just a blast at the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.